I'm John Lafleur. I'm a brewer here at Goose Island. Um, grew up here around Chicagoland area, and uh, it's always exciting to get to brew in sort of your hometown. You know, basically most of my job is just playing around with beer at different times. Um, very, very few breweries uh, let somebody like me just literally just like go play, like go fi figure out what works, what doesn't work. Uh, so it's really cool to really watch this program grow and um, see how committed Goose is to pushing forth these types of beers. Um, I really think this is where beer is going. Uh, we use pr primarily two different families of barrels here in the brewery. Uh, we use barrels which used to hold the spirit. Um, usually we use mostly Heaven Hill bourbon barrels, um, you know, like 11 and 13 years old. The other family of barrels that we use are wine barrels. Uh, we use both red and white wine barrels. Uh, red wine barrels, uh, we generally tend to use Cabernet uh, barrels. We really enjoy those ones. We are playing around with some white wine barrels, um, especially with Sophie white wine barrels, and Sophie works out really well because uh, you've got really nice acidity and brightness uh, from the white wine um, that really makes the Sophie sort of pop. Uh, so really enjoy those for Sophie. We use a lot of different fruits here at the brewery. Uh, in Juliet we use blackberries, uh, Marion blackberries. In Lolita we use red raspberries, and in Madame Rose we use sour cherries. Uh, most of those we get from seedling farms in Michigan. Uh, we have a very strong relationship with them. They make great, great fruit. We're looking for thermal expansion and contraction of the beer inside the barrel. We'll actually push it into and out of the wood. And as it does that, the migration through, it picks up a lot of flavor. Uh, how long beer stays in barrels is really depending on how it tastes uh, for different brands and for different uh, wild microorganisms. Uh, it takes different amounts of time. Um, for a beer like Juliet, we're looking for a fair amount of acidity. Uh, we actually are going to leave the beer in there for 8 to 13 months, uh, depending on just how long and how the beer is maturing. Um, everything from the amount of wild yeast in the barrel, the amount of fruit in the barrel, um, the actual pH, and the temperature of its environment all make a huge difference in how the beer matures over time. Um, we feel very strongly in not releasing beer on a schedule, uh, but rather as the beer is ready when the beer is ready. One thing I've always admired Goose for um, is just its really strong focus on new product development, new brands, um, and innovation with beer. Um, from developing Bourbon County Stout, which was one of the very first uh, big strong beers to be aged in a bourbon barrel, you really saw how that exploded in the industry. Um, from that to using Britannomyces and Matilda, uh, actually bringing in a wild yeast strain and using it in a big commercial endeavor. First time you had to actually innovate new cleaning procedures uh, to make sure that that happens. Uh, Goose is always a very strong focus on innovation. One of the cool things about wild beer is, you know, when it's ready, when it's ready, uh, some barrels mature at different rates. So we actually kept back a fair amount of barrels of Juliet from this year, which we didn't feel were ready for the spotlight. Um, so we'll have those to play around with and blend into this next batch coming up. Um, so it would be really nice to have a larger stockpile of this beer. Um, see how it mature, matures over the years and um, to have more consistent and more innovative blends um, of wild and sour beers going into the future.